guys, it's the Carp here, back with a brand new Football Manager mobile experiment. If you guys missed the last one on Northampton Town, go check it out. What I did was I gave Northampton a League 2 club, perfect facilities, perfect staff, and unlimited resources. And uh, based off of the results of that, they they had just some insane, insane youth players come through the ranks um, and turned into the best club in the world uh, by the end of the experiment. So that kind of made me want to uh, see what would happen if... I just made an entire league, I just gave them perfect youth facilities and perfect uh, training facilities. Haven't changed anything else, so uh, what I've chosen for the league, um, I went with Belgium, not Belgium, um, the Netherlands, just because they uh, have a history of sort of developing, you know, promising young players. Um, and I didn't change reputation, transfer budget, or stadium, but what I did do is I went through the top division and the second division and I just changed all of their youth facilities to state-of-the-art and top, the highest they can go. And I just want to see, by the end of this uh, save, it'll be 30 years that you can do on the mobile app, um, how you know how much of an impact is this going to have on the national team, on the league. And uh, these videos aren't going to be super long, because there's not really too many things to keep up with. Um, and you know there'll probably be just like four parts to this, maybe like seven or eight years uh, in each one. Maybe even less, but do want to show you guys uh, what I've got so far. So, if we first just look at the, the league history, you know, it sort of instantly changed uh, the kind of like, I don't know, the whatever, of the reputation of the league. I don't know. It, uh, you know, normally AX tend to dominate, uh, and in recent years, PSV up there, um, but it only took three seasons for another club. Uh, I was at Alkmaar to uh, get into the uh, you know that first place position and Feyenoord actually being uh, runners up that season and then winning it the next two so uh, three winners in a row that weren't PSV or AX uh, so definitely um, the training facilities and youth facilities uh, had some sort of role there um, but uh, if we look at uh, just a uh, few of the players not staff so, Dutch, no age limit. Uh, you can see, so anyone 22 and under here is uh, for certain going to be uh, a player that's only been produced since I upgraded the facilities. So you can see here already, 21-year-old Engels, incredible stats for that age. And uh, he went from uh, Twente's uh, Youth Academy. And he's uh, at Marseille now. And then we got uh, Dej here. Uh, decent stat. I don't know how to say his name. Decent stats as well at 21, and uh, he came from NAC Breda's uh, youth academy. So really spreading it out. Univar obviously was in the in AX's team already, but he's going to be an incredible player, um, and it's definitely helped him out the uh, the training facilities. Um, then if we keep moving on, you've got this lad here. He's uh, only 20 years old. He came from Go Ahead Eagles uh, youth academy. Not even sure if they're in the top flight. Uh, so very impressive there. Uh, another Telemans here, not the Telemans you would have heard of, but he is still a midfielder, um, but he's definitely going to be a, a decent player. He's came from uh, De Grafship's uh, Youth Academy, again, potentially a second uh, division team. So really spread out, um, you know, players are being produced here, but if we look at the world rankings, how has this affected the national team so far? Um, and the answer is, pretty much it hasn't done uh, anything. In fact, if we look at the world rankings, Holland are actually all the way down in 29th place uh, after starting in like 10th or 11th at the start of the save. Don't quite remember. But really, really disappointing from them. But the reason for that is because, uh, this is best illustrated, if we look here at all of the under-21 players, only four appearances across the entire, you know, under-21 spectrum. Um... This guy right here, striker, not too bad. He is going to be uh, certainly a really good player in the future. But they really just haven't been giving opportunities to the youth player. And they've, they've went through a few managers. I have been sort of keeping an eye on it. Um, so that's that's the reasoning behind that. But they definitely have, um, if we even just sort by by uh, value there, these players are all under 21, all worth you know these, these really good uh, amounts of money for their age and uh, for the clubs that they're at. Because normally, you know, um, Eredivisie not not super high reputation, but 
If we do look at the league standards, this has been affected. So uh, Dutch clubs have been doing better in the Champions League since the upgrade, um, especially last season, and they're all the way up into sixth place, uh, which I would kind of consider them potentially the sixth place league in the world now. Uh, it's probably between them and Portugal, um, but you know them, they uh, firmly are in sixth place now and uh, are shooting for France in fifth. That'll take them a while. Um, and if we look, look at the reputation, they are uh, still only in eighth, um, but I believe that is improvement all they're beginning um, up to a four-star league at the very least, potentially going to be a four-and-a-half star soon. But um, there's not too much more to look at uh, just yet, but this is um, only seven years into the future. So hopefully... Uh, this league, these league standards will continue to go up uh, as time progresses, and it will continue to produce uh, some really good players. Um, and we'll see. Uh, Holland didn't even qualify for the World Cup this year, so uh, definitely another World Cup will have passed by the next video, and we'll uh, we'll see, you know, how they can do in that. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys uh, have any suggestions, leave a comment either for uh, you know what you want to see in this experiment. Uh, or other football manager mobile experiments that you want to see. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys.